Greetings once again, Internet, and welcome to Insane Ian Taste Tests. Oh, weird stuff. Uh, so, we are back. This is the new Pepsi 1893 flavors. We're just gonna dive right into this because I ramble. So, we have four different flavors of 1893 from the makers of Pepsi Cola. There is the uh, original cola, a bold spin on an original cola. Then there is 1893 ginger cola, premium cola spiced with real ginger. That's a thing. And then we have 1893 black currant cola, premium cola infused with a bold berry finish. Makes it sound like a varnish for your table. And then finally, 1893 Citrus Cola. Premium cola infused with grapefruit essence. It's like they just kind of waved a grapefruit at the soda. Yeah. Well, there's so much more stuff written on these. Uh, I will be the first to admit that I actually already tried the first uh, original cola, but that was only when they had two flavors before. Not, not the bevy of flavors that we have now. So, that's a thing. Um, I don't remember what it tasted like though. This was this was over a year ago. Uh, I had it once and I was fully unimpressed. And there's a cat meowing in the other room. <sighs> I've got my glass here, ready to show you what this stuff looks like. I've got my water bottle. And we're gonna go. So, starting with 1893 original cola. That, that looks like Pepsi. It's got a nice head on it. Yeah, that's, that's a cola. That's what that, that's what a cola looks like. Is that what a cola tastes like? It's a cola. It's a more caramel smelling than a normal cola too. When I went to take a sip of it, I was like, oh, I don't need to smell this, I know what cola smells like. And then it hit me as I, uh, as I went to drink, and yeah, that's a, it's definitely more of a caramel smell. The caramel coloring, of course, in the, in the cola there. Boldly blended cola made with cola nut extract, cola with a K, dark brown malt flavor, a touch of aromatic bitters, sparkling water, and real sugar. I feel like I should have an accent when I read everything off the back of this, but I don't know where my accent is from. It's a combination of accents, and I'm a dumbass. It's like, it's not a terrible soda, it's it's very soda-like. It's not bad. Very flavorful. It is a bit more malty than a, I guess a cola normally would be when you go down to the malt shop. Hey. In 1893. Now we're gonna try the ginger cola. Had the palate cleanser and cleaned the glass, because you don't need to see all of that bulk. I I don't know why I make that face every time I open a can. It's just fun for me. 1893 ginger cola, premium cola spiced with real ginger. I don't know what that smells like. We have boldly blended cola made with cola nut extract again. Real ginger, sparkling water, real sugar. So that's it. It's just a ginger cola. Take a look at the pour here. That is a lot more ginger-like in color. That is a unique, it kind of matches the can, actually. That's, uh, I really don't get a, get a sniff off of that. I don't have the greatest nose, to be perfectly honest. I'm gonna try this, ginger cola. Again, not bad. I don't get as much of a ginger flavor off of it like I would normally, like a, like a ginger ale or anything like that. Ginger ale tends to have a little bit more of a bite to it, and uh, this ginger cola doesn't. Doesn't seem to have the same kind of bite that a ginger ale normally does, depending on what your particular brand of ginger ale happens to be. But uh, this is not bad. This is kind of nice. I will say, when I breathed in as I was taking a sip, it definitely, like, the bubbles got up in your nose, and you're like, Hey, I got a tickles! So, not a bad soda, but definitely not nearly the, uh, the same kind of bite that one would expect to feel in a ginger soda. On the scale of the first two, 
I like the original one better, but that's neither here nor there because, you know, I don't really need crazy flavors in my drinks, says the guy making crazy flavor taste test videos, and who picked up a bunch of really weird sodas for the next one. Talk about that in a minute. Up next, the one that I found first before finding the rest of these, the Black Currant Cola. I don't even know what Black Currant is, to be perfectly honest, but it's infused with a bold berry finish. Makes it sound fancy as hell. Fancy AF. Boldly blended cola made with cola nut extract, black currant essence, sparkling water, and real sugar. Black currant essence makes it sound like they waved a crystal at it. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Let's give it a sniff. Getting nothing. No, no berry scent. No, I mean it's a cola scent, kinda, but it's kind of just not. It's just, just exists. It's air. I smell carbonation. It, it, whatever. All right, so uh, pour. That is about the same. Whoa! It's like it got darker as I looked at it. I was going to say it's about the same color as the ginger, but uh, it's a little darker. A little similar to the the regular original cola. That's uh, oh. Now that it's out of the can, I'm definitely getting a, a hint of something. But since I don't know what black currant is, that I, it could smell like it. I don't know. Yeah, here we go. It's not bad. It's a little sweeter. It's a little sweeter than the other two. Not really a berry flavor. It's a it's a cola straight through and through. It's I guess the essence infused with an essence of berry makes it sound like the. Just, yeah very near it. So yeah, it doesn't... it's fine. I'm expecting something more exciting with these flavors, and I'm getting... meh. So, sorry, but you guys, uh, st stick around here, because we haven't gotten to the citrus one yet, and I'm going to tell you about the ones I got for the next video, but I've been wanting to try these, and the, so far, I'm wholly unimpressed. I know that a lot of people like to mix drinks with these. Uh, I don't imbibe the spirits. I don't drink alcohol or anything like that, usually. I don't know why you would do that with any of these, because... Well, I mean, I guess I do know why, because these are kind of boring without them. I mean, they, they sound fancy, but they're really not. They're just kind of soda. And it's a very Pepsi-like soda, so... It is a little sweeter than the previous two, but... It's still kind of meh. Cleansing the palate and editing, and then cleaning the glass. The 1893 Citrus Cola. Premium cola infused with grapefruit essence. Yeah. So it's the original cola, and then they add ginger to it. And then the original cola, and they add black currant to it. And now it's the original cola with grapefruit. Boldly blended cola made with cola nut extract, and a grapefruit essence, sparkling water, and real sugar. Carbonated water, caramel color, water, sugar, natural flavor, cola nut extract, just... BS in a can. Ooh, that one squeaked out. <laughs> Fart jokes. Alright, last pour. That is a decidedly more orange color. It's a little generous on the pour there. So yeah, that is a, that is a definite more orange tint to it. Oh, it's Probably not as easy to tell in the camera there, when it's all in the glass. When it was being poured, it was definitely an orange hue to it. There is a definite grapefruit scent coming off of that, though. A much more stronger scent than the other three. I'm a little worried to drink this now. Because <laughs> I'll, I'll be perfectly honest with you, uh, I citrus gives me heartburn. I have acid reflux. Not that you need to know that, but citrus drinks tend to, to make the little fire in my chest happen. All for science. Whatever. There we go. Oh, that's awful. Oh, that is not good. Yeah. It's a very... And grapefruit is a sour flavor, you know? It's a sour citrus. It's not quite lemons, but it is definitely kind of kind of makes your face go squudgy. Uh, so yeah, this is getting that right away. Make your face squudgy taste. Put that on a can. <laughs> so yeah, this is not. This is my least favorite. Glad I went last with this, and I still have a bevy of beverages with which to uh, go back to. All I do is drink soda. My insides are going to rot and I'm going to die soon. Cheers. 
hope it doesn't get better. No, no, it does not. It is, oh, it's just so tart and, and sour. It's just, you don't expect that in a soda. But uh, it's definitely, that's definitely what that is. Ugh. Not gonna heave yet, but uh, not enjoying drinking it. And uh, there's still a little bit left. Like I said, a generous pour. <sighs> okay, so those were the uh, Pepsi 1893 flavors, the four different varieties available now. Really not impressed with any of them. I mean, the 1893 original is perfectly fine. It's a serviceable cola. The ginger doesn't really have the same kind of bite that most people would have with a, with a ginger ale or a ginger cola. The black currants, not really a very strong berry flavor. And the strong one is the citrus one, and it's gross. So, yeah, there's that. <clears throat> oh my gosh, there's the burps. Burping. It happens with a lot of carbonated beverages. Uh, another postscript to the last video I did, which was the Pepsi Fire video. It was very mild at first, and the more I drank it, because it was in the it was in my fridge for a little bit, and I guess as it got to room temperature, the the fire flavor started to rise up in a little bit. It's like somebody had a pack of Big Red, and they spilled a Pepsi on it, and then they wrung it back out into the bottle. After it, it stopped being cold from the fridge, it, the, the, the burn of flavor started to kick in a little bit more, and uh, I felt it in the back of my throat a lot heavier than uh, I had or did when I originally started drinking it, uh, to the point where I, I could not finish it. It was just not, it did not taste good after a bit. So start to drink it when it's chilled, uh, and then when it starts to reach room temperature, it's gross. That's all for this week. Next time, I've got some treats for you. So there is a root beer maker called Sprecher, and they have something called Sprecher Diamond, and they've tried a bunch of different flavors, and I somehow got one of them. Even though they sell them in four packs, they had some individual ones too, and it's a flavor. I don't know what the hell that is, so that'll be fun. And then uh, found uh, another root beer uh, maker has uh, gone completely crazy and has made flavors I've never heard of in sodas, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, so we're gonna be trying some blueberry cola, some pineapple cola, and uh, banana cola. Yeah, so that's gonna be a thing. If you like the video, please like and share, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell random people that you happen to meet. Just, you know, let me know what you think of these videos. If you have things you want me to try, put them in the comments and I'll see if I can find them. And maybe, just maybe, I'll throw up in one of these videos. I think it's gonna be next week. I think I'm gonna throw up next week. All right. I need to drink another thing other than having this grapefruit taste in my head. Uh, grapefruit soda. Hi. Uh, uh. Bye, everyone. Eh. I don't know why I end with a noise. Yeah, sure. Okay. We'll work on the end.